Hey guys, um, today we are going to be making some mac and cheese. Um, and this is from Epicure. I've never had this before, never tried it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it. And then while it's cooking, I'm going to come back and talk about what it is, why, all that good stuff. But here's what it looks like. It's mac and cheese. Um, and we eat a lot of mac and cheese in this house because it's my absolute favorite. So it's also this kiddo's absolute favorite. He likes to call them cheesy noodles. Um, and today we're actually going to be making this in the microwave. It's kind of a little strange. Um, but I kind of wanted to try that just to see what that's going to be like. Um, so yeah, this is what the packet looks like. There's um, actually a bunch of instructions on the back. It says you can make Mexi mac and cheese. Looks like you add some salsa, you can make pizza mac and cheese, you could use this for a tuna casserole. Um, Epicure also has um, their QR code on the bottom so you can scan that and it'll go to their website and show you a whole bunch more recipes. Um, we like good old mac and cheese, so we are going to make mac and cheese. Um, so we're going to make it in this steamer, silicone, um, that Epicure makes. I'm actually borrowing this from a friend, it is not mine. Um, so easy peasy, we're going to just get this mac and cheese going and we're just going to see what it's about. So it says um, to actually do two cups of dry pasta. Um, this is what I had exactly actually two cups. Um, it's bow tie. So we're just going to stick that right in there. And then it calls for um, four cups of water. Let me try. So we're going to put four cups of water in there. Easy peasy. And then it says to cover it. So I'm going to cover it with the lid of the steamer here. Got that all covered. I'm going to pop that on. Um, and then the steamer actually comes with like this little recipe card that tells you like what you can cook in there. And it does say bow tie pasta two cups, which is what we just did. Four cups of water, cover, microwave on high, and then strain. It says 12 minutes. Um, I've seen other videos of people who have done this and it's way less than 12 minutes. So I'm going to kind of do it in like increments and we're gonna just going to check it and kind of see because I've never done this before. So I just kind of want to know for myself, give myself a little benchmark of what's actually going on. So to the microwave. We're going to start with four minutes. Let's see. Okay. That's going to be weird. Okay. So while that is cooking, um, I wanted to come back to you and explain a little bit about what Epicure is. So I actually just heard about this recently. Um, somebody posted a meal on Facebook um, and it looked really delicious. Um, and they said that they made it in 20 minutes. So that appeals to me. I have two kiddos, Edison and Eve, um, and making a meal in 20 minutes is awesome because they, they don't like to wait when we say it's dinner time. It is dinner time now. We need this to happen now. Um, so I was intrigued by the whole 20 minute thing. The meal looked delicious. Um, and then they said they were having a party. I'm like, okay, it's one of those things. I, I don't want to get into that. Um, so I asked, okay, is it like Tupperware for food? And the answer I got was, well, no, not really. I actually think yes, kind of. Um, so the way that I view this and the way I'm kind of going into it as that it is a Costco of meal planning and prep. So meal planning, meal prep is actually a huge, huge passion of mine. Um, as I was pulling up this video, I um, saw on my desktop, I have a folder that says weekly meal plans of things that I've spent tons of time going and finding meal plans, um, putting them together, making grocery lists. I mean, lots of time putting these things together. And Epicure actually makes a three weeks of easy dinner meal plan. It's all the packets, the grocery list, the recipes, everything right there for you. Um, and they also make a 30 day one, which is pretty amazing too. Um, your whole month is done right there. And what I like about that is you can, you cannot use it because these are shelf stable for like a, at least a year, if not up to three years. So it's not like a meal delivery kit where if I don't use it that night, I'm like, shoot, all that stuff is going bad. It's just in my pantry. It's good. It's fine. So I liked that part of it. Um, so that's kind of the main reason why I wanted to try this is it sounded like too good to be true almost. 
Um, and then the person was telling me about like price per serving and they said, oh, they're all about or under $3. I'm like, really? I'm going to say The packets are $3, right? And then you have to add groceries. I said, no, it's actually with groceries. Um, so that was, I was impressed by that because we've been doing meal kits and even with the promos, they're like $3 a meal. And then I just got an email from Blue Apron this morning that said something about um, you get free meals based on a price per serving of $10 per serving. And this is less than three. So I was, I thought that was crazy. Um, I actually did a little bit of math because that's kind of how I am and I like to know it and I like to budget and I like to keep things under budget. Um, so I did, I compared it to the blue box macaroni, hopefully people know what I mean when I say that, which is about a dollar a box, um, which is about three servings in the box. So it comes out to 33 cents a serving. Okay, super cheap. Um, the other thing about Epicure though is they are like super into healthy and no preservatives, no artificial anything, labels you can read. They have a huge never ever list and all of their stuff is gluten free and nut free with the exception of coconut, I believe. Um, but they have this huge list of stuff that's never ever in their products. And I went and just tried to like just look at the ingredients of the blue box one and there was stuff I couldn't pronounce and I just kind of was like, eh, all right, whatever, it's a lot of ingredients. Um, so that one's 33 cents per serving. That's really cheap. And then I looked up Annie's, which is another brand of mac and cheese. Um, they're usually like organic non-GMO, which all of Epicure stuff is non-GMO also. Um, they actually had similar ingredients. Um, but what's interesting is I just got read an article yesterday about how now they're having to remove orthophthalates which is an ingredient in their mac and cheese, from their mac and cheese because it causes um, fertility issues and birth defects. And now they're having to take that out of their macaroni and cheese, which that's not in this. So I was pretty like, ooh, okay, they're having to take that out and Epicure, it's, it's, I'm sure it's part of their never ever list. Um, anyway, so the price per serving for that mac and cheese is two and a half servings for the box. The box is about $1.60. Um, so it comes out to about 64 cents a serving, so about twice the price. Um, we'll pause on that, check on the macaroni, I'll come back. So this steamer, even though it's been in the microwave, is actually not really that hot, like I, you just let me touch it. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, the noodles are definitely not cooked yet, but they are getting softer for sure. So we're just gonna give it a stir, pop that lid back on and stick it back in. And we're just gonna do another four minutes. Why not, for trying. So Epicure's mac and cheese is about, it's, so it's 10.75 and you get three of these. Okay, so that sounds like way more expensive. Um, however, these serve four servings per container and every time, one of these is purchased, Epicure donates meals um, to families in need. So I thought that was cool. Um, the ingredients on here though, listen to this. Cheddar cheese flavor, whey, buttermilk solids, salt, potassium phosphate, lactic acid, mustard flour, onion. Y you understood all of what that was. It's basically cheddar cheese, milk, salt, mustard flour, onion. It's what those things are. So, I mean, that's all stuff that we know and that's that's awesome. So this actually, obviously there's no pasta in here. I had to use my pasta. Um, I, so I figured I used about 40 cents worth of pasta and one of these is about 360, so $4 for that. So it comes out to about a dollar a serving. So it's actually more expensive. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that right now because I haven't tried it. So I don't know flavor wise, oh, it's worth it or not yet, um, but it is more expensive. So that kind of plays into the decision of if it's worth it. Um, we'll see, I don't know. I mean, I do like that I know what all these ingredients are and now I'm kind of worried with the whole other macaroni company having to take something out of theirs that's you know causing infertility and birth defects. It's a little worrisome. So I, I'm kind of trusting this right now. Um, but flavor is going to be key for me because I am a macaroni and cheese snob. And this kid lives off of it, so if he doesn't like it, 
kind of a kind of a deal breaker for us, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm actually going to pause the video for a little bit while that keeps cooking, and we'll come back in a little while and chat then. See you in a sec. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's see. Turn easy. Turn easy. All right, hang on. The steam that comes out of this is hot. will still feel a touch hard, so I'm just going to check. No, they're good, but I like my noodles a little more al dente than other people, so something to keep in mind. All right, so we are going to drain this, and I've seen people who have done this many, many times who use nothing but the actual steamer to drain. I'm not that good, so we're just gonna kind of keep doing it here and see what happens. Because it is silicone and it's hard to pull them out. All right, let's see. Let's do this and try. The pine over here. Look at the bummy on this side. It puts me on this side. I know. Our noodles ready. So, stir in a third a cup of milk, milk, um, butter. Gotta, you know, add this. Let me try. Yes, that was nice and cheesy. And when I ever I need to use butter in something, I like to put it in my cookie scoop, just kind of a little tip, because then you don't have to like dirty another spoon getting it out. Um, and then it just kind of you know, scoops right out and you're not getting it all over the place. All right, let's stir this up, Eddie, and we'll see what we think. Let me try. Steamer looks kind of good. It looks kind of good. Yeah, it looks good. What color is the lid right there? What color is the lid? Purple? Mm -hmm. Purple is it? Is it purple? It is. All right, it, it looks like super creamy. Here in a minute, once I get a, the butter a little more melted, I can show you. It's definitely saucy enough. Like you could do way more noodles and not change anything else um, about this. All right. Oh, that is not super, super saucy. All right, I'm actually gonna grab a fork and sneak a bite right now. What? Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. No way. I think it's going to be delicious. Would you like pork? No. Don't take a bite. Mm, let's see. All right. Oh, it's tricky. Okay, so I think I had a chunk of the seasoning in that bite, which maybe was why it was so delicious. <laughs> We're, we're gonna give it an, another go because I... that bite was like so cheesy. Oh my god! I only want if they get any bites. Okay, that bite was also really cheesy. Okay, I love mac and cheese. This is really good. Like, we might have a problem now. Good. <gasps> I usually make mac and cheese with a huge chunk of Velveeta and a whole bunch of heavy cream. Like that's my kind of mac and cheese. And you remember those ingredients? It was like four things. It was like cheese, mustard, onion, milk. It was all. Um, yeah. Okay. We're, I, I 
Just gotta keep checking because I'm not so sure. No, it's delicious. It is delicious. What do you think, Eddie? Okay. Like, it's so, like, just cheese. Like, it's not really, like, thick, thick, creamy, but the flavor is, like, I wish I could just, like, give this to you through the camera. Because it's really good. I feel like we should get bowls and eat lunch, bud, instead of eating it out of here. <laughs> Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted my first impression to be either, this is delicious, this is gross. Whoa, rogue noodle. <laughs> um, like I said, it is more expensive, but now that I've tasted it, I don't really care. Um, especially since I know what the ingredients are and I know I've donated a meal when this is purchased. Um, doing it in the microwave is awesome like this sauce I can see is like just sliding down the side of the steamer like this is not going to be a problem to clean and I am terrible about making messes in my kitchen like my husband and I have had words over it like I am a serious messy cook and I love to cook so it's kind of a kind of an issue but um this is really good <laughs> I want to just like eat this whole thing look how big this thing is I mean this is a lot of noodles Mm -hmm. I agree with Edison. Put it in a bowl. I think that's a good plan. It's planable. Okay. Well, that's my first impression. This recipe, at least, in the microwave. 12 minutes. A little bit of milk, a little bit of butter. I used almond milk, actually. I should have said that. It might be different with regular milk. Um, yeah. Macaroni snob approved. Delicious. All right. Thanks.